Hello, everybody. This is Speaker Shay Grace. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Listen, this little message is for the entrepreneurs out there, whether you have your own business or whether you've purchased a franchise inside of another network marketing company. Either way, you are an entrepreneur and you're after multiple streams of income. Something popped in my mind, so I thought I'd come and give you a little becoming moment. Here's my company, Becoming Inc. Um, one thing that I used to experience is I would put a lot of Facebook memes and posts and pictures and all kind of stuff on the Internet, and I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. And it took me a while to figure this out. <laughs> and it was because the stuff I was promoting was not in front of my ideal client, meaning I was casting my pearls, 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 uh, before swine. <laughs> now, I know that sounds a little harsh, but check this out. Casting your pearls before swine simply means this. You are putting your information, your business, your product in front of people who don't give a shit. <laughs> they don't want those products or services. They don't need those products or services. And typically, they can't afford those products or services. So for me, uh, there were a lot of people looking at my stuff, but they couldn't afford my coaching programs or afford to hire me as a speaker, or they could not uh, afford my uh, virtual assistant, or they thought they couldn't, so they didn't try. Um, or whatever the reason was, even when I was pro promoting lots of Total Life Changes products, I was just throwing them out there, because to me, I was like, everybody needs to lose weight. Well, maybe not. And, and if they do, was I going after men or was I going after women or was I going after elderly people? I had to have a target, and you have to have a target too. So you can get your information and products in front of people who need, who want, and who can afford it. Um, so I said that to say this. I had to shift gears because I realized most people on Facebook are on there for social reasons. They are looking to get inspired or motivated or pass a bunch of ratchet ass videos around or watch political news or just whatever. See who's dating who and what's going on in other people's lives. And that is groovy, but for a businesswoman, that don't work for me because I'm looking for business. I'm looking to help people build their business, and I'm looking to make money. And what I'm finding quickly is LinkedIn is a much better platform for me. So if you are at that place of wanting to get serious about your business, because you can only do so much Facebook. It's cute, it's fun, but you, you know you can really stay broke and very, very distracted on Facebook for a long time. Um, but with LinkedIn, it's a couple little pointers. Um, when you go to LinkedIn, if you're serious a business person, a serious business person, create a LinkedIn headline, okay, that answers the question for your ideal client. What do you do for your client? Below your name, write what you do for your client. Not your title, not what you used to do, nothing. The people want to know what you can do for them, quick, fast, and in a hurry. The second thing on your LinkedIn profile and Facebook, if you're serious about business, a professional-looking photo. It doesn't have to be professionally taken, but for professional meaning you're not looking to, your picture shouldn't look like you're ready for a damn party. I see some of these sisters out there, um, they, they're leading their LinkedIn profiles and they're leading their Facebook with a picture of their booty. You don't lead with booty. Not at 45 years old, you don't lead with booty. You got your tits and your booty out for what? What kind of business is that? But you want people to come by, you are attracting a lot of, unneeded attention, and nobody's taking you serious. Also, your cover photo on Facebook. Tell your ideal client what you do for them or what you can do for them. I mean, it's cute to have your butterflies up and people are taking pictures of cars that's not theirs. I know I used to do it. I did that once. Um, but it really doesn't attract people for business. So if you're ready to step things up, I'm asking you to at least explore moving to a different platform where your ideal clients are and presenting yourself in a professional way. Um, and then stop casting your pearls before swine.
Because it, the longer you keep putting your stuff in front of people who don't need, who don't want, who can't afford, the more discouraged you will become. So, this is Speaker Shay Grace. I hope that little nugget was a uh, uh, helpful to you. Listen, if you need virtual assistance and you need a little elbow grease, behind your business, hit me up at becominginc.com or schedule a, a strategy session or a discovery call with me. If you've got a group and you need them to be motivated and inspired to use their potential, hit me up, okay, on the inbox, and I will come out and speak to them and give them juice for their journey. I look forward to hearing your success. Leave me a comment let me know if you uh, jumped over onto LinkedIn, and let me know how it's going. All right, peace out.